I'm happy to go to the orchestra rehearsal hall and like stay after rehearsal one for for a night or two with the orchestra members and you know adjust the string okay. section. So that's something you could just do for for free to to meet some people and yeah, that'd be great and show your business off. I would love to. I I really love meeting people and I love seeing their instruments and I really love when when I'm done. People are so excited about how good their instrument sounds. It makes me super happy. Cool. I love working with my classical orchestral players. Um, so, uh, oh, and like klezmer. I, ha I have some clients who do like awesome klezmer. Uh, I think it's really fun jazz. Um, I like to work with people. So I like figuring out what people want and figuring out how to like really deliver to them like their instrument sounding its best. Where so the strings I, I go. It gets worn into the wood and then it makes it really hard to play because instead of having a nice perfectly even surface to press your finger against and get perfect intonation you have this crazy uneven dented up surface and it makes it really hard to play in tune so every now and then we dress the fingerboard the strings can wear into the top of the bridge and that impacts the sound and playability the bridge itself can can start to bend over and curve instead of being nice and straight here just from the pressures of tuning, the, the string dragging up and down as you make it shorter and longer to tune it. Um, and, and maybe your G string sounds just kind of tubby and slow and unresponsive. Like I can move the sound post so that those things are evened out so that it sounds nice and even and balanced from your lowest string to your highest string so it sounds like it's all one voice on one instrument. I, I mean, you so if you can make a world of difference by moving the sound post, it's sort of stunning sort of facilitates certain kinds of vibrations. So depending on where I put it, I can get a looser or more focused vibration, like a more rich and open sound or a more like focused and penetrating sound. And those are all qualities on a continuum. If more complicated work is necessary, uh, you know, if they want to come and drop the instrument off so they can see where their instrument will be and we can have a good talk about what's going to go on, uh, it's ideal. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I almost always have other instruments that are here in my shop that I can loan. So if, if someone did need to leave their instrument with me for a week and they were concerned about keeping up with their practice schedule, I almost always have something that I can offer to let them borrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. if, if, if they notice that something seems a little off or they wish it sounded better or they just are kind of thinking like, oh, it's been a while since anyone looked at my instrument, it might be, you know, it's, it's good. It's good to have like a regular checkup. Okay. And by moving that sound post around, you can make something potentially extraordinary happen that they might not have expected. Often, often. Yeah, it, it, it really is like a, a wonderful um, tool to like maximize people's enjoyment and playability of okay. their instrument. You know, like an instrument that, you know, wasn't sounding that great can sometimes sound a whole lot better, often. And a lot of my cool. professional clients come in a couple times a year just to have that like dialed in to like the maximum because they know how they like it to sound and they know how good it can sound and so like if they know they have a performance next month they'll come see me it's like a almost like I sometimes I feel like a chiropractor <laughs> <laughs> just a quick quick little tune up